Potatoes. 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 When I was a kid, I thought there was one type of potato. This. But I have just arrived to a country with more than 4,000 types of potatoes. Welcome to... Peru is a country in South America that is considered to be the birthplace of potatoes. Their potatoes come with so many colors, so many shapes, and so many tastes. where Europe got their potatoes from. See, and this is how potatoes became one of the world's most popular foods. Come to Peru, where the potatoes are more than just French fries. What if I told you that in Peru, people communicate using fruits and vegetables? For example, papaya. If you do something easy, like lifting a pencil with your hand, people call it papaya. Because papaya in Peruvian slang means easy. When you call something yuca, like the vegetable, it means it's hard. When you call someone lentils, it means they're slow. Apurate, no seas lenteja. And when you call someone avocado, it means what they are doing is... Embarrassing! Churro, like the tasty sugary dessert, means they are handsome. Carrot means they are innocent, and even pineapple means... Languages can be very yucca, but if you add fruits to them, like in Peru, they can be very papaya. Hi, this video is about death, but I swear to God that it's not a sad one. See, I have just arrived to a really, really big cemetery. The biggest in South America. All of a sudden, I hear music in the distance and I ask myself, what is going on? Apparently, there is a party going on at a cemetery. People in Peru, turns out, don't just celebrate death with sadness, but with happiness. With a full music band, with friends, beer, and laughter. <laughs> Mind you, this is a cemetery. I was surprised. My whole life, I thought funerals are supposed to be sad. But this cemetery got me thinking that maybe when I die, this would be a great way to say goodbye. That's one minute! See you tomorrow! Hi! When you think of energy, you normally think of coal. You think of wind, you think of solar. But what you don't think of is the poop of guinea pigs. Yes, I have just arrived to a farm in the country of Peru, where these farmers created energy from the poop of guinea pigs. This process is simple. They take the poop of 1,000 guinea pigs, put it in underground chambers and pressure it. And that creates methane gas that can power their farm, appliances, and light bulbs. And the poop leftovers they put in Coca-Cola bottles called it Coca-Cola. And use it as a fertilizer to turn their entire farm green. We make this product from the guinea pig poop. This unique method is not enough to replace electricity. But it shows that you can make something out of nothing. That you can power a farm from guinea pig poop. It's 
esto fue un minuto y nos vemos mañana yeah. oh my god this is one of the most unique things I have ever seen it's a river in the Amazon jungle that is boiling This unique river is so hot, you can fry an actual egg on top of it and make tea just from its water. It's so dangerous if you fall into it. Humans get burned and animals die. This boiling river is not a hot spring or a volcano. It's glacier water heated from the bottom of Mother Earth that makes a seven-kilometer river in Peru's jungles that will blow your mind, heal your body, and boil your breakfast. And at the end of it, where it gets colder, the water feels like the world's best jacuzzi. That's one minute. See you tomorrow. The kid you see next to me is only 14 years old, but this kid started a bank. Hi, my name is Jose and this is my story. Jose saw that a lot of his classmates spend money, but they don't save money. It's important to save money. So at the age of 12, Jose started a real bank in Peru that turns his classmates' allowances into a savings account with its own debit card. He's the first bank in the world started by a kid. His bank got so popular, he found 3,000 customers, saved $50,000, and hired eight employees that are older than him. This is just the beginning. He also built a system that helps kids make money by recycling their plastic. Kids can get plastic waste, go to his bank, give plastic, and get money in their account. It's a win-win. As we adults are busy spending money, let's look at this kid who built an entire legal banking system that saves money and saves the environment. That's one minute. See you tomorrow. Hi, the guy you see next to me is solving one of the hardest problems in the world. Hi, my name is Marino. But first, let me tell you what the problem is. Pollution. See, lakes like this one are contaminated. And according to data, this is the case for 40% of the world's lakes and rivers. So when Marino's childhood lake also got contaminated... I had to do something about it. This scientist with a PhD degree from a Japanese university took a break from school, went to a bank, got a loan, and dedicated his time to fix my leg. He came up with a unique solution. You put this solution in dirty lake water and bam! The solution attracts the contaminated particles and floats them to the top. And this is so environmentally friendly that you can eat it. Because it's 100% organic. So after 15 minutes, you can see the difference between a clean and polluted water. If I can clean this cup, then I can clean whole lake. So he went to his childhood lake and dropped a ton of his solution, treated it with biofilters, nanotechnology, and crazy biology, and after a few months, he was able to transform the lake from this to this. A full 180 degree transformation that created a lake clean of parasites, bacteria, and pollution. The birds came back and people did too. What is this method that you used? I used the nanotechnology, but the nanotechnology used in the wastewater treatment, but I used in the wetland and the natural habitat. And why don't more people do this? Because it's expensive and it's very hard, but it's not impossible. 
It's not impossible. That's why now Marino is thinking big. He wants to clean Peru's biggest lake. This, with an entire team, PhDs in science, millions of dollars in funding, patented technology, and a noble goal of making the world cleaner for everybody. YouTube, if you like this video, then I think you're gonna love NAS Academy. It's a new online school we just started to give you a voice. Yes, making videos has given me a voice. And with this voice, you can reach millions of people on the internet, tell them stories that you care about, and actually change their opinion. This skill of making videos changed my life and I think it can change yours. NAS Academy has a lot of courses that are live. They're not pre-recorded. So there is real people from the NAS daily team that teach you how to make videos like we do. Give you your voice that you so desperately need in today's world. If you're a business, if you're an entrepreneur, if you're a family person, you need a voice on the internet. And NAS Academy helps you get that voice. Click on the link below if you want to see the courses that we offer. We have very limited spots. So grab yours today. Thank you so much, and I'll see you tomorrow for another video.